Hey, it's Lord Lav. In this video, I'm going to put together an old school grind beat from scratch. So let's just get straight into it. Right, so let's see what we can do. We've got some drums here, which might be of interest. Let's have a go. So I've got an 808 here, uh, a snare, little uh, sort of percussion sound here, weird bounce which I've tampered with and we got this uh, reverse version of that. We got this little um, blip sound I got, which I deliberately lo-fied, because look, we're doing kind of old school grime. We want some kind of game sounds, like take some of that fair play to Wiley, take some of that Wiley influence. If we have a look now, another thing I can do, if you are familiar with grime at all, you'll know uh, in grime music, when we're making it, they're pretty partial to the old square waves. So you can see I've got the, it's this synth here, ES2, kind of real good synth to get a uh, handle on like the idea of synthesis. Yeah. synthesis. So we got uh, this set up here with a filter and it's, it's this sound. You'll hear it in a lot of like garage and grind, but. <laughs> Another thing I've got here is a. I want to do a bass line, so I've got a simple, uh, just the FM bass that, uh, or not FM bass, FN synth that comes with um, comes with Logic X, which is actually pretty damn good, especially when you want to do those kind of grimy, garagey bass lines. The uh, FM bass is pretty sick. I've got a sound here. I'm willing to do a video on how to set up uh, FM bass or just bits on it if you ask me, but how about you put that in the comments if you want to know about FM bass if you're doing a, a grind production. But um, I can, I, basically these are two, uh, two sounds, two oscillators that are modulated against each other and that creates an uh, interesting sound and I can tamper with one oscillator and that will affect the other, so C maybe. Might want to LFO it a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> That is well garagey. Sip a beer. Let's have a go at these drums. Let's have a look at this uh, bass line a little bit more. Um, sharpened it up a little bit, made it a little bit more funky. Okay, I'm going to add some strings to that bass line now. And these strings you can see here, they've got a chord trigger on them and it's just basically the same chord but um it, it's it's like uh you can see here that is a minor chord with a bit of an inversion and two of the of the the fifth basically played twice so let's give that a go to this track uh <laughs> And uh, we can look here, I've tampered with the original square wave I used. Uh, I'm gonna put, I decided to put an LFO on it because it just made it sound more interesting. Uh, for this, it just fits better with the strings than just having that really abrasive kind of square, just a normal standard square wave. So it's. And that's playing about with this here. I've got this, the cut off of uh, the filter is. is um, Basically, the LFO is modulating the cut off here, so I can change the pace of that. So 
So let's have a go with that. We know it ain't old school grime unless you add a couple of kind of uh, video game type sounds. So there's a couple of sounds. I will probably put these on a sample pack one day if I ever release one. So uh, if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments. But uh, got this cheeky sound. Sounds are made. So uh, let's see if we can add that to this. Got this other pizzicato type sound and put an arpeggiator on it so uh, ordinarily it would just be like without the arpeggiator it would just be like this but I've got an arpeggiator on so it's more like this so let's have a go at recording that and I've tampered with this string sequence a little bit more so it's a bit more interesting if you have a look I've added a couple more like j just some extra sounds like to um, just basically played the same sequence but like an octave lower so it just beefs up the strings a bit more so just trying to get a verse section done I apologise in advance for anyone's nan that gets smacked after listening to this. Sorry nans. You want to see more, there'll be a couple of videos that pop up at the end of the screen. Make sure you click one of them because, look, you'll love it. It's great. More beats, more rhymes, more all of that thing. Yeah.